Lakeisha Grant, Virtual Enterprise Architects, and we perform IT or provide IT services to federal and private customers. My name is Michael Dadashi, CEO of MHD Enterprises. We do e-waste recycling, redistribution, and remarketing of electronics. My name is Julie Bauer, and the name of our company is Grok, and it's an advertising agency. Well, company culture is, uh, it, it is what we thrive off of. It is it's pretty much what makes VEA unique and different. Uh, we have nine corporate values or, or core values in which um, we spell out virtual EA. You know, our website is virtualea.com um, for a reason. Um, the V is for volunteerism because we foster that. The I is for integrity because we uphold it, of course. Uh, R is relentlessness, which is we don't stop until the work gets done and until we please our clients. The T is for transformation because if we don't, if we're not there to impart some kind of change, then there's no point in us doing it. Um, the U is for the unity aspect in which we're constantly working together to collaborate. Uh, the, uh, the A is for amplification because we're very passionate about what we do. Uh, the L is for the learning because we're always doing educational um, activities and we're making sure that we foster an environment of consistent learning. Um, the E is for excellence because we got to do the best at what we do or be the best at what we do. And the A is for the accountability piece, which is everybody's accountable for their work. Uh, and so, you know, those nine core values really instills what, you know, what makes us unique and what makes us different. Um, and it really fosters our core premises or, or core values of this is a family. You have to operate um, in the same form and fashion of that of a, of a family. Um, one of the things that I really love about us is the fact that we're very frank and, hon frank and honest. Um, and I think that's because of me, the leader, <laughs> because I'm very frank and honest. But I, I make sure that we have a, a culture and environment where um, you can argue one day and love each other the very next. Maybe not on the same day, maybe not in the same week, but because we're family, you know, we have to, to still come together at the end of this to still operate as a unit and to, to be a family. So that's been our, um, our, our mantra, I guess you can say, for, the, for our culture. And uh, we operate as that of a family. And we make sure that we ex exhibit each of those nine core values. Um, company culture is really what drives the company, in my company in particular. Um, we keep a strong core value system. We do meditation together. We do um, readings, you know, positive readings with the group in the morning to really set the tone of the day. And we hold each other accountable and we, we do check-ins with each other. And we have a very strong fellowship in the company, you know, to, to keep each other moving along and keep each other positively, you know, focused and and it's, it's, it's what really drives the company because if you have disgruntled employees or employees that are obviously focusing on, on different aspects of their life in a negative way or they're not processing, you know, the stuff that they're doing, then you're going to have, you know, basically robots that are working that aren't really, you know, putting their heart and soul into it. But when you keep them positive and you keep them on the right track, you know, they care about as much about the company as I do and they really treat it like their own. You know, when I think when you're a small company, it is you. It's, it's, it is my personality. Um, and some people like that and some people not so much. But, um, you know, I, I think you, you, you do invest. You invest your life in it, really. Um, and, and, you know, you wear yourself down. And, 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 but it's worth it because everybody who works for me, I take an, an incredibly special interest in. I know a lot about them, I know a lot about what they're doing, and I uh, hopefully encourage them and hopefully set a, a model for how they can be successful because our entire company is under 30. So, you know, I, I think my goal at this point in my career in life is to set an example.